so in the topic of operators there are three types of operators unary binary and ternary binary i have discussed and now it's the time to discuss with the ternary operator so in this video i am going to take the ternary operators the unary operators i will take after it because they are not much so important than this ternary operator we have to get concepts clearer as soon as possible about this ternary operator so come on let's begin it so let's study about ternary operators in the category of operators we had unary operator binary operator and ternary operator now we are going to study about ternary operators so in the category of ternary operator in c language there is only one operator that is called the conditional operator how this is conditional operator why its name is conditional operator that i will explain you later on but this is the operator this operator we call conditional operator suppose i have written this expression in c language i have declared a variable result how i declare a variable like this only int result or anything i can take integer character float anything i can take that i will explain you how many data types are there but for the time being consider that result is occupying some memory then i have written this whole statement what i have done is here i have written in this parenthesis expression 1 and put a question mark over here then here i have written expression 2 and put a colon over here and then i have written expression 3 so this is the representation of conditional operator how it is used in a statement typical c statement so what will happen exactly is this expression 1 will be evaluated suppose i am having a is equals to 10 and b is equals to 5 then if i write a is greater than b in place of this expression 1 and check with this question mark then this question mark means it will check whether a is greater than b or not if the answer is true then this expression 1 expression 2 will be executed if the answer is false this expression 3 will be executed and whatever is executed the result will be assigned to result if expression 1 is true then expression 2's result will be assigned to this result variable else expression 3's result will be assigned to this result variable in some cases we can write the statement like this much only then what will happen if expression 1 is true then expression 2 will be executed in a program if expression 1 is false then expression 3 will be executed so it is something like condition it is putting a condition over here all the result is dependent upon this condition if this condition is resulting to be true we will execute one set of statement if the condition is false we will execute another set of statement so here exactly we have two choices either this one or this one so what is the use of conditional operator till now we were seeing that we were following a sequential manner in our program first line number one line number two line number three line number four and so on up to the end our program was executing but now using conditional operators at some point we have two paths if this condition is true we will move towards here and execute this expression to or any set of statements that are representing this expression too and if our this condition is false then we will go towards this that means now we have two paths now we are not going sequentially we are going conditionally depending upon the condition in between i will give you a very good example of this conditional operator now let's see that now see this example of ternary operator or conditional operator i have given a memory to a and stored there 10 and similarly in the memory of b i have stored 5 and result is empty that means i have done something like this int a b result and i have assigned a with 10 value b with 5 value left to right 10 will be assigned to a left to right 5 will be assigned to b it is perfect and result is empty okay now see these two statements first see this first statement i have written a is greater than b question mark then what will happen this a is greater than b will be evaluated a is 10 and b is 5 so 10 is greater than phi that means it will return this much will return us true now this is our expression 1 in the syntax we saw this is expression 1 this whole is expression 2 
and this whole is expression 3 now a is greater than b is true now whenever the expression 1 is true expression 2 is executed as it is true expression 2 that is this one will be executed so what will be the output printf hello that means on the console screen you will simply see hello because this statement has executed now because this expression 1 was true now consider a case if i write if i change the value of a by 5 and b by 10 now what is happening a is greater than b no this in this case this expression is now false so whenever this expression is false then what will happen instead of this expression 2 expression 3 will be executed that means now on the console screen you will simply see by if a is greater than b you will see hello if a is less than b you will see by this is how the code is working so this is putting up a condition on our code that if i am true then you execute some set of statements if i am false then you execute some other set of statements this is how it is exactly working now say the second code the second code is consisting of two statements result is equals to a greater than b question mark that means this is our expression 1 this is our expression 2 and this is our expression 3 now a is greater than b is a greater than b no a is not greater than b that means this is false when this is false what will happen expression 3 will be executed that means b is executed now what is the meaning of b being executed as we have used assignment operator here that means b will be assigned to this result because assignment operators works left to right from the left hand side we have got expression 3 and expression 3 is b simply so left hand side when assigned to right hand side it will become something like result is equals to b then what is the what is in the memory of result 10 because b is 10 so b having the value 10 10 is assigned to result simply so now we have written printf percentage d comma result so result is having the value 10 which is an integer and can successfully replace this percentage d and simply using this printf statement 10 will be printed this is how the code is working now if i again change a to 10 and b to 5 and result is empty now let's execute this code again now result is equals to a greater than b so a is greater than b now now this expression is evaluating to be true because a is having 10 and b is having 5 so what will happen expression 2 will be executed now expression 2 is simply a and here we have a assignment operator so what will happen this statement will become something like this result is equals to a because we have to take expression 2 from the left hand side only in the previous case we took expression 3 from the left hand side because expression 1 was false now it is true so we are taking expression 2 so result is equals to a a is having value 10 so 10 will be assigned to result and printf percentage d value of result that is 10 will be printed so this is how conditional operator is working you can use this kind of construct where you don't use any assignment operator but in some cases you may be using the assignment operator if you want to store some kind of value so in that cases you will be using the second kind of construct so note them both of them and practice some examples of this kind i am also going to show you one program example that is very much common using the conditional operator now see this program program to check if number is odd or even that means we will be going to ask a number from user and check if it is odd or a even number so stdio and conio i hope so you don't have any problem in these two statements now void main the main function is starting from here and it is ending here between it it is the body of main function then i have declared a integer a that means a integer memory will be allocated and its name would be a here now i have written printf enter any number that means on your console screen when this statement will be executed all the double quotes part that is included in double quotes will be printed as it is so here enter any number is printed this is our console screen so now 
द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज स्कैन एफ वेन एवर स्कैन एफ इज एनकाउंटर्ड आवर प्रोग्राम इज वेटिंग फॉर एस स्कैन एफ परसेंटेज डी कॉमा एम परसेंट ए दैट मीन्स आवर प्रोग्राम इज वेटिंग फॉर एस टू एंटर सम इंटीजर डेसीमल वैल्यू so that that decimal value can be stored at the address of a this is the address of a the memory location of a so whatever integer value we are going to enter will be stored at that address of a so suppose i have entered here 5 i have written 5 and then press the enter key whenever i press the enter key this scan of statement will be over and a will be assigned with 5 now this statement is complete now here is the our main statement for which we are studying our this program a percentage 2 equal equal to 0 now how to check if a number is odd or even if a number is even it will be divisible by 2 whole divisible by 2 that means remainder will be 0 so if i divide the number by 2 and check its remainder how we check the remainder using modulus operator so a modulo 2 that will return the division of a by 2 and its remainder not the quotient quotient is returned by this symbol this will return as remainder if the remainder is equal to 0 then this part will be executed if the remainder is not equal to 0 that means when this expression is false then after the colon whatever is written will be executed expression 1 expression 2 this whole is expression 2 and this is our expression 3 so here in this case a is 5 so 5 percentage 2 equal equal to 0 whenever you will divide 5 by 2 it will not rem return remainder to be 0 it is returning 1 that means a percentage 2 is not equal to 0 so that means this expression 1 is false in our case whenever this expression 1 is false then after the colon symbol this expression 3 is written expression 3 will be executed what is written in expression 3 actually here printf should come printf and then this whole part printf percentage d is odd comma a then what is the value of a a is 5 this 5 will move towards percentage d and 5 is odd will be printed this is only how we work with percentage d and any memory variable in the case of scanf we have to put m percent also but in case of printf we don't need to put m percent because here we are storing at the address of a and in printf we are only simply retrieving whatever is a so in printf we don't need the address operator in scanf only we need the address operator so a is here now what will happen percentage d is odd whenever percentage d is encountered percentage d will search for an integer value after the double quotes so after the double quotes a is there a is having one integer value so percentage d will take that integer value and write 5 and rest of the part till the double quotes is executed like this 5 is odd this is how your output will be displayed on the screen i hope you are clear with this percentage d if not through the upcoming examples you will get a more clearer concept and a good hands on on this percentage d and printf statements uh, for the time being you please run this program in your pc so that you have a good hand on this conditional operator also so whenever this expression is false the expression 3 is executed whenever it is true expression 2 is executed this is the core concept of this conditional operator and here is get ch the program will wait here the program is waiting for us to press the enter key then only the console screen will be visibility will be switched off till the time we don't press enter the console screen will remain in front of us so get ch and here our program is over this is the whole program please practice it in your pc and yes the code of this program you will get in the description of the video so i hope you have got your hands on clear with this conditional operator this conditional operator is a ternary operator why because it is working on three operands expression 1 expression 2 and expression 3 there are three operands in this so in case of binary there were two operands like plus a plus b a and b are two operands and plus is the binary operator here expression 1 expression 2 and expression 3 are three operands so this is a ternary operator and i hope so the concept is clear to you and you have tried the code also in your pc if you are still having any doubt you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video and if you liked my video and liked my explanation please hit the like button please share the video with your friends and please 
subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet i need subscribers so please help me support me thank you